unfortunate news just came across. Just kind of give us your thoughts on what was going on. <laughs> yeah, no, um, yeah, just found out a couple minutes before our team meeting. Uh, very unfortunate. Um, you know, again, you know, our, our, our thoughts, our prayers are, are with, um, you know, Ronnie Caldwell's family and um, very sad situation. Um, you know, but uh, a shock to find out we're not playing a game on Thursday, you know, um, very, very unfortunate for everybody involved, you know, so um, is, is what it is. You know, we got to uh, move forward, you know, and, um, you know, so we're, we're going to practice tomorrow, get a, a head start on Southeastern, and uh, we'll practice again on Saturday and, and move forward. Um, you know, I just told the team we can't we can't control this. There's no reason to um, worry about things that are out of our control. And um, you know, but very, very unfortunate. Uh, strangest year keeps getting stranger. We'll, we'll have a bestseller book one day, not just about this season, but <laughs> about a lot. But uh, yeah, I, I, I've never. Uh, I've never been in a season where a game's been been canceled, you know, whether it's a hurricane or something like this. So yeah, uh, another bizarre element to the year. Uh, did you t you said you talked to Brad last the first week? Yes. Did you talk to him this week at all? I've not. No. Any hint at this? None at all. Besides one of my players telling me earlier, "Hey, we heard they're going to cancel." And I said, "No, no way that's happening." <laughs> so our, our our guys, I guess, had spoken to a lot of their players up there, but you never know, you know, the kids talk. What was the team's reaction when you said you found out as you were walking in? Um, you know, disappointed. You know, it's homecoming. You know, I mean, so they're excited. Everybody's family is going to be in town. Uh, a lot of former players are going to be in town, and some of these guys are friends with, with a lot of those. Um, you know, but, but, but again, um, that's why we canceled practice today. I didn't want to go out there today and practice, and our minds are somewhere else, and it was just a wasted practice. So uh, we, we finished the meetings, and uh, like I said, we're, we're going to practice uh, tomorrow afternoon and then again Saturday. How does this impact you guys going forward? Obviously, no game tape to look at, and a lot of players you were hoping to see play as well. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you, you obviously, um, you know, we wanted to go out there and do well. You know, whether I thought last weekend we, we played we played really good against a really good team. Came up short. We were excited to get out there this week and uh, try to finish the deal. And, um, you know, so, you know, but you got to move forward. You know, uh, again, we, we uh, just told the team this. We Our focus now has to be to Southeastern. That's our next opponent. And um, Southeastern had a bye week this week as well. Um, you know, but instead of game planning all week, they've been they've been looking at us. We haven't looked at Southeastern at all, so we'll, we'll start that today. Um, strange to have double buys, obviously. <laughs> Just how do you how do you prepare now for a different week? Will you do anything differently? Will you open up practice on Saturday if people want to come because their families are here? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's all. We we never really have close practice. Um, maybe we should since Will this whole stadium? since this whole you know Michigan things happening around the country. Maybe we should. Uh, no, we probably won't do it in the stadium. No, we'll probably do it at the practice field still. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll have a Monday-like practice tomorrow. Um, we'll have another Monday-like practice on Saturday. So there's shorter practices. Uh, we're going to do some good on good, but we're not going to go live. We're not going to tackle to the ground. We want to stay healthy and take advantage of this. Um, you know, it's not playing a game Saturday. Uh, so that's one positive. At least at least we'll be a little bit healthier moving into, you know, next week's game. Um. I have, I have else. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all speechless right now. We're, we're, we're trying to yeah. bizarre. Have you ever been? So, have you ever had any like any situation like this? I've never. I, you know, Does lots the shock of, of this kind of rival COVID, the COVID cancellation, or well, you you, you, you saw that coming, you know, right? And uh, we had finished. That was our spring game. We uh, I think it was on a Thursday night. That was our spring game there at Valdosta State uh, under the lights. And the AD walks up to me during this uh, scrimmage and says, hey, how many more plays you got? And I said, I don't know. We're going to go about for another hour. He goes, good. Get it all in because we're fixing to shut down the country. <laughs> you know? So that's how I found out about it. But we kind of saw that coming, you know, uh, especially, you know, when it starts talking about seasons that aren't going to count and your budgets and all that kind of stuff. But this you don't see coming. I mean, like I said, we've been, we've been grinding all week, excited to, to get out there, another home game. I, see, I think the saddest thing is it's one less home game that we get uh, for a season that we already had had been traveling more, you know, and um, you know. But again, I you know we all got to get over it real fast because I got I got to move forward and, and, and focus on Southeast. When you when because we asked about it three weeks ago almost about the possibility of this them canceling the whole season, they had no inclination at that time. No, I mean I, I thought since they played that the week of yeah. the tragedy, you know, they moved it up, and I know why because they had the the arrangements and everything that weekend. I really thought that, um, you know, they 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 had, they, they had their moment, I guess, to to you know, 
um, you know, get back together as a team or whatnot. And uh, who knows? Who knows what the struggles are going through right now as 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 a head coach, as a program from top to bottom. I mean, obviously it's very very difficult. But no, I. I I don't think any of us did. Um, you would have thought they had canceled before they played last week if it was going in this direction, or at least by this Monday you'd have known. You know? I, it's fresh, but would, would there be any possibility of playing, say, a midweek game against one of the other teams that their game was canceled against Northwestern State? Yeah, I don't. I don't think so because you know when are you going to get that in? You know, we don't. We don't have another bye week. You know, we got three more games and then. You know, a lot of teams will start getting ready for playoffs. So where where where, where does that fall in? You know, um, we'd love to. We'd love to have another opportunity with our guys, but I don't. I don't think it's doable to be honest. You don't want a double header against Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, a lot of crazy things have been happening. You, know, you never. Before. You never know. <laughs> JV, no, all of our young guys are playing. <laughs> it's our varsity right now. <laughs> For you guys, how does this kind of impact you? Were t- you've been talking about Camden getting playing time and a lot of your yeah. other freshmen getting playing time while not burning their red shirts. How does this impact you and what you can see with those players? No, it, it's I mean it's funny because we we just again today as a staff talked about all right what, what's our plan in this game for six killer you know because Ryan's starting and and so you know I really want to have a set time where we get him in but it, you know game of football everything's so unexpected at times it's still kind of a little bit of a field deal because the most important thing is getting that win right so you know if, if Ryan was hot we we're gonna go with him but I still wanted somehow to get six killer in the game at some point but yes it's one less opportunity you know I'm sure he's pretty disappointed right now too because he knew he was gonna play is that kind of disappointing that you didn't know before the last game because you used that one of those four games Oh, you, you could have. Yeah, absolutely you could have. Um, but, you know, I, I'd gone in thinking, hey, these last four games, yeah. we're going to utilize them some. Had, if they had decided Yeah, originally. if we'd have known, yeah, it could have changed things. De- yeah, absolutely, you know, but here we are. <laughs>